Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rahana. We're continuing our Let's Play of Gakko in Heaven 2. I'm using a new version of my recording software today, so hopefully everything will sound alright. I've tried adjusting the volume to make sure everything is balanced and everything, but you never know when you're starting with something new. It's my first time using the new version, so we'll see how it goes. This time I am going to record the different variations in the omake scene, depending on who you asked for help when you're trying to catch the fish. So the first one is going to be Yagami because we're just going to go through them in order. And uh, so this comes immediately after Yuki's talking about how he enjoyed staying up late as a kid for the first time and how he thought that was so much fun. And uh, now we're going to get Yagami's commentary on that. So um, I will have him replay his scene or his line here so you can hear it. Hey, hey, you Hey, hey, you feel adult just because you stayed up late? Nandayo, Yagami that the Kodomo no Koro, you fkashi stetara, Oyani, Hayaku Nenasai, the Okorata daro. What? Didn't your parents get mad and tell you to hurry and go to sleep when you stayed up as a kid? Nakoto, each domoneo. Not even once. Eat to the row. Buy your in heat today. It's no manika asadonante, shot you that tatte. I already told you, when I played the violin, it would be morning before I knew it. Oh, right. But didn't your mother worry about you living like that? It'll ruin your health. My mom made her come back when I went to grade school. She wasn't at home much. Oh, then wasn't it hard for your father and your siblings? Not really. We had a maid to do the housework, so we didn't have it hard at all. You had a maid? What? That's not uncommon for a household like that. No, Yagami really was a rich kid. So yeah, we kind of don't remember that often because he's such a rough kind of character or at least trying hard to to be the rough character but yeah he's from a really upper crust kind of household where everybody's you know playing classical music they're very wealthy they live in a huge house they have all these extremely valuable musical instruments and to Yagami he grew up with that that's no big deal that's just the way things are and Yuki's like uh you're, you're kind of a little rich boy, aren't you? I'd like to go to your house once. It must be an incredible fancy mansion. Huh? Even if you go, it's pretty boring. There's no one there. Oh, then what do you do during summer break and stuff like that? It's annoying, so last year I just stayed at the dorm. Anyway, there's plenty of guys who stay. I see. I wonder what everyone's going to do this year. So that's that's Yagami's little scene there. So that's a good point, too. Um, a lot of people do stay at the dorm, I think. I think the fan disc for the original Gakko in Heaven took place during the summer break, or very close to the summer break, and everybody was available. Um, people just don't go home because, you know, a lot of freedom living at the school. And if your parents are never home and there's just nothing to do, it's probably a lot more interesting to stay, especially at the place that has all the facilities to support your special talent if you're an athlete in particular. There's not really any advantage to going home, and I'm sure these kids, once they get a taste of freedom living away from home, they really enjoy that, so they don't want to go home. I don't think I would go home. Says the kid who went home every single time there was a break from college. Whatever. Um, okay, so that's the Agami scene. I'm going to stop here because, like I mentioned, I can't just reload to get to the other variations of the scene. You can't save in these scenes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here, and then I'm going to start a new video with uh, Sonoda's scene and hopefully I'll be able to kind of cobble them all together into one video so it won't have beautiful transitions or anything like that if I even manage to do it but I'm going to try my best to make it at least decent 
So here we have the Yagami version. So um, if we're lucky, it will just continue straight into the Sonata version from here. If not, it may be multiple videos. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, just hang in there for the next bit. All right, guys, welcome back. We are on the fishing bonus scene, and this time we're going to see Sonata's variation after the whole uh, eating of the fish. Now we're going to get the little follow-up that depends on who helped you fish. Mmm, I got to eat such delicious food. I'm really glad I came today. Freshly made dishes with just caught fish, it's the best. Never mind the dishes, you're the one who caught the sea bass. It's your right to half of it. And with this, I've saved the cost of the ingredients for tomorrow's special dish. <laughs> you never change, Sonoda-san. You're so practical. Or cheap. <laughs> this sort of steady building up is how you make money. And that's true. If you put away a little bit every day, you will surely see your savings grow. That's I know. If you get better at fishing, why don't you become my in-house ingredient hunter? If you do that, you can eat delicious food for free, and I can guarantee a stable supply of high-grade ingredients. It would be a win-win relationship. I see. That would be nice. By the way, Sonoda-san, even though you said you're not in it for the fishing itself, you were pretty good at it. That's because I'm rather perfectionist. If I do something, I do it right. You're an artisan to the core. I guess so. If it's something I'm interested in, I want to follow it all the way through. Of course, that includes making money. <laughs> so that's Sonoda's extra scene there. Pretty cute. Always gotta, gotta rag on him for wanting to make a few bucks. He is kind of ridiculous about it, though. I don't know if I would take him up on this deal, because I think at some point he would stop offering food for free because he'd be like uh you're eating all the profits so now i have to charge you deal with it that's probably what would happen all right so that's sonata we'll stop making fun of him now and i'm gonna cut here and then come back with takato's scene and his is actually a little longer because his earlier part with catching the fish was kind of short this is a little longer and makes up for that plus it's a uh, you know, how everybody, how Yagami and Sonoda kind of had a sexy element to theirs where Yagami's was kind of inadvertent and Sonoda was definitely doing it on purpose. Uh, Takato didn't really have any of that. Well, that's because it was saved for this other part, so I think you'll find that pretty enjoyable. So let's cut here and then we'll pick up again with Takato. All right, now we're picking up with Takato's variant on this scene. And let's remember that the part that came before was everybody talking about staying up late and Yuki was saying he was really excited the first time he got to stay up late as a kid, you know, past midnight. And now we've got, uh, actually starting off with the Yagami with his, uh, his commentary here. So that little is adult to you, huh? But since my home's a bakery, everyone goes to bed early and gets up early. Yeah, I mean, think about it. If you want to be able to shop at the bakery first thing in the morning, you know, if it opens up at, say, 5 or 6 to kind of hit all the people who are going with their early morning commute, that means that bread needs to be in the works from, like, 2 or 3 in the morning because it takes a long time for the bread to, to rise and be kneaded and then you have to bake it uh, long enough to ensure that it's actually done. 
Um, actually, bread baking is one of my wife's big hobbies. She loves bread and is always wanting to bake stuff. So um, I know a lot about bread. I've helped to make a lot of bread. I've helped eat a lot of bread. And yeah, bread takes a long time. So if, if Yuki's dad is doing some actual breads as opposed to just kind of quick breads or things that, you know, are very small and uh, finish up quickly, he's getting up really, really early. So of course, Yuki would have to go to bed early too because there's just no way his parents can, uh, can watch him late at night, especially when he was a kid. I basically went to bed at 9 o'clock. Seriously? It was the same at my house. See? So Takato-san, did you enjoy stay staying up late too? Yes. 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 Books. Nekuraka. That's depressing. Skina mono, skina da ke tan no dekiru. Sorega donna ni shiawa sena jikanka. Anatanima wakaru desho. Being able to have your fill of the thing you enjoy. You can understand how happy such a time is, can't you? Ma, ma. I guess. Yoru wa steki des. Shui no to wa kie, ekimono no kehai mo usui. Nighttime is wonderful. The sounds from the surroundings vanish, and even the presence of creatures is faint. I can read books anywhere, but after all, there is an optimal space. For example, your impression changes if you eat the same meal at a luxurious restaurant or outside like this. The same performance will sound different if you hear it in a hall with audio equipment or if it's in a simple room. Books are the same. Depending on the time and place you read, your impression differs greatly. And if you read it at the correct time and place, you can truly understand a book's essence. That's what I believe. In that sense, I like books that are best read alone in the dead of night. Books taken under a blanket and read in secret, lit only by a flashlight. Oh. Oh. Takato-san. Hey, Takato-san. No one's following what you just said. Really? I'm very sorry. No, it's me. It's at too high a level for me. Well, first off, I don't read books, so... And remember that. That's, that's kind of a thing that Yuki has said a few times. I'm like, you probably shouldn't like say that too loud. Like, <laughs> That's not something to be proud of. But that's okay. We're reading a book. This is basically a picture book, so good for us. It's bad for your eyes if you read by flashlight. But, Takato-san, you said you read at night under a blanket in secret. Just what kind of books were you reading? Books my parents wouldn't let me see. What of it? Uh, huh? He admitted it, this guy. What of it, you? Uh, uh? So basically, people are assuming he's looking at porn, right? <laughs> 
Chasan, what are you into? The rare stuff or mainstream? So this ne. Let's see. Rea da kara do to you kotoa arimasen. It doesn't particularly matter that it's rare. Watash to stewa, kisho se yorimo, shiko ni auka do kaga juyo des. I prize whether something suits my predilections or not more than the rarity. Konomi ga yaya maniaku desu no de. My tastes are somewhat exotic. Maniaku? Exotic? Sore ga nani ka? What of it? I, ie, yosou dori to yuka, angai butchake ta na te yuka. No, I mean, it's just what I expected, or like, you're surprisingly blunt. Just what kinds of books? After all, those kinds of stories loaded with words like that? Or something more direct, full of visuals. But since he was a kid, since he was little, under a blanket with a flashlight. So God only knows what Yuki is imagining here and who even knows what Takuta is actually talking about. He's probably just enjoying letting Yuki interpret this however he wants to because it's fun to watch him make stupid faces like he is right now as he, as his mind goes crazy with the possibilities. Yuki normally doesn't have much of an imagination, but I think uh, in Takato's route, he's got a little more, and it's because Takato tends to plant the seed of ideas in his mind and then watches him kind of go nuts with uh, taking those ideas and really just running with them. And uh, Yuki's kind of got a dirty mind. I mean, look, look how excited he got when he heard, ooh, adult time. It's fishing. Oi, Asahina. Hey, Asahina. Oh. Yeah. Both of you, knock it off. Asahina's getting wild delusions. Yuki-kun is Yuki-kun is so amusing. Yes, it's worth teasing him. However, he needs to become a little more adult. Be before he can do all sorts of things? So? Who knows? Jeez, you're nasty. So that's Takato's scene, and I think that makes up for uh, the kind of tameness of the fishing portion of this, uh, this scene here. So those are the three different variations, depending on who you chose to go fishing with. And after this, there's a very short um, kind of outro scene where everybody's going back to the dorm and just talking about how they enjoyed the day. So um, I'll try to tack that on here too. And uh, that'll finish up the scene and then we'll go from there. So thanks for watching and uh, come back for the conclusion. Okay, and now we're back with the concluding scene of this bonus uh, scenario here. So this is after you have whichever uh, version of the follow-up scene that you get. Now you get the, the final bit here, and I'll replay Yuki's line again. That was fun. Thank you for today. I was able to eat delicious things, and it was an awesome night. Thank me, I'm the one who invited you. If you like it that much, let's all get together again soon. Sounds good. With your luck, I'll be looking forward to the fish you catch. Right, I'll do my best to catch a lot more, even bigger ones. Oh, you're into fishing now? Yeah, I guess I am. At first, when I realized the adult fun was just fishing, I was a little disappointed. Ah, you, just what kind of adult fun were you expecting? Like, it takes Yagami this long to realize that's what Yuki was thinking? <laughs> He's not gonna say. He's just gonna laugh. That we can have such a fun event even at night. Long live dorm life. 
誰かに見つかると厄介です今の時間だと学園から帰る職員に見つかる可能性の方が高いかも hour, come, 朝日奈、ね、おめえ規則破ってる自覚あんのか朝日、ね、rules, ごめんってでも秘密のイベントもいいけどせっかくならみんなで楽しみたいな I said sorry, but it's nice that it's a secret event. Since we're here, I want to have fun with everyone. Naraba, Liona event or Kikak Stemitara Ikagadeska? Then why don't you plan an event for the dorm? Liona event? The Tatoeba barbecue toka, Hanabi Taikai toka? A dorm event? So like a barbecue or a fireworks show or something like that? Natsunara, Kimodamish toka, Camp Fire toka, Atoa, eh, o Since it's summer, there can be dares or a campfire and. Nan de mo in desu. Omoshiro so to kanjirare evento nara. Kitto mina kyoryok shimas. It can be anything. If,、uh, if they think the event sounds enjoyable, I'm sure everyone will help. Kasengeru evento nara, oremo sanse. If it's an event where I can earn income, I'm in. Umai mon kuer nara, oremo kao dashi at demo easy. If I can eat delicious things, I don't mind showing up. Ore, can't get any mas. The only little talking is cut the kinai. Psycho no event. I'll try thinking of something an awesome event that can only be done while we're in the dorm. Summer is coming, and autumn and winter, and then it'll be spring again. I'm sure every day I spend at BL school will be a memory I never forget because we'll make those memories ourselves. And that's the end of the adult fun bonus scene. So, again, a nice scene where we get to see characters who don't normally interact spend some time together and find out a little bit about what they have in common, or maybe not.、Um, it's kind of fun to recombine everybody up like this, especially, you know, looking at this group, they're all different years. So, it's, it's really unlikely that they would spend time together during the day in class or even eat lunch together. They just don't have opportunities to become friendly with each other. But because of this、uh, kind of side interest they have going on here, they were able to hang out together. And、uh, of course, we got the mention of Niwa, who likes to, to go fishing. That fishing pole that was left behind in the student council room obviously belonged to him. So, all sorts of interesting little things that we have in this scene. So, That's this one.、Um, my next video will be the second scene, and that's, that's kind of a crazy one. It has a bunch of, again, assorted characters who don't really all go together, but、um, it makes for a really fun scene. So look forward to that. I hope you enjoyed this one, and、uh, you'll come back for the next. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.